Hi Reception, it's Monday again. I hope you all had a lovely weekend. Just one more week of home learning and then we can go back to school. I'm excited, I hope you are too. So for our do now, we are counting in groups of 10. So I have one group of 10 on our screen. Now I want to see how many do two groups of 10 equal to. So I've got two groups of 10 now. How many do you think I have all together? Have a think in your head. And then we can work it out together. And shout the answer out to me. Those are some great answers. Let's count it. So we have 10 on the first row. Let's count the second row. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So two groups of 10 equal to 20. Two groups of 10 equal to 20. Two groups of 10 equal to 20. Well done, reception. It's time for our learning objective. I hope you have your pencil. So our learning objective is to explore counting in groups of five. To explore counting in groups of five. You will need some resources from your work pack. You will need the worksheet for lesson one. Can you pause this video and go and grab that for me? Let's say our star words. Groups of each group all together is equal to equal groups same number. Mama MacDonald has had to move some of his animals into smaller fields, but he needs to make sure that there are five animals in each field. At the top of our screen, you can see five boxes and you can see some blue dots in those boxes. Those blue dots represent our animals in our fields. So let's count how many animals we have in the first field. Can you count with me? One, two, three, four. We can see four animals in the first field. How many can you see in the second field? One, two, three, four. Four again. How many can you see in the third field? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we can see six animals now. How many can you see in the fourth field? One, two, three, four. And how many can you see in the last field, in field number five? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can see seven animals in the last field. So we just said, Farmer McDonald said he needs five animals in each field. So why does Farmer McDonald have a problem? How many animals can you see in those five fields? Have a think and then shout the answer out to me. Those are some brilliant answers. Well done, reception. He has a problem because he hasn't got to five animals in each field, has he? So now we are going to work together and rearrange. That means move these animals around and make sure that, they, that he has five animals in each field. Let's do this together. So you can see five empty boxes now. So those are our five empty fields on the bottom of your screen. So we are going to put five animals in each field together. Are you ready to count with me? So one, two, three, four. So we have four just like the top one. So I'm going to borrow one now from number six because we're not allowed to have six. So I'm going to move one from number six and I have five in my first field now. Let's do field number two. One, two, three, four. Just like the top one, but we need to borrow one from another field. So I'm going to borrow one from field 
from door number five because that one has seven we're not allowed seven so i've got five in my field number two now now let's do field number three so we had six in that one first but remember we took one out from there and we put it into field number number one so if we had six and i've taken one out now how many do i have left five excellent so i don't need to move any from that one now so i've got five on my field number three and my field number four i only have four so let's draw four then we need to borrow one from somewhere so remember field number five had seven and then we took one out for number two so now we had six now we can take another one out for num field number four so now we have five in field number four and then we should have five left for field number five so that means i have five here five here five here five here and five in the last field give me a thumbs up if farmer mcdonald has five animals in all of his fields we are going to count them together now so we had one two three four five six seven eight nine ten we put ten over here eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty that's a big number 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 25 animals because he has grouped all of his animals into five. I have taken some examples from today's worksheet so we can work them out together. So let's see how many animals we can see in this first field. One, two, three, four. We can see four animals in this first field. And how many animals did Farmer McDonald say he needs on the field? Well done, he needs five animals. So let's count how many he has on the second field, on this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can see seven on animals on that one. Has he got too many reception? Yes, he has got too many on that field. So we have to rearrange these animals and swap them around to make sure that we have five on both fields. So Farmer McDonald gets it right. Let's do this together. So you cut out the small boxes, the lines with the dots on there. And so I've got the two pigs. I've got a cow, so I've got one, two, three, and I've added two more, so I've got, let's count them now, one, two, three, four, five. Have we got five animals now on our field? Yes, we do. Excellent. We have five animals on this field now. Let's rearrange the second field and make sure that that one has five too, because it started off with seven. So we've got two there and I've added three chickens. So one, two, three, four, five. We have five animals on the second one now. So you have to have a go at cutting them out and rearranging and swapping around your animals to make sure you have groups of five. Time for our independent activity reception. So you are going to do the activity that we just did together. You're going to cut out your groups of your groups of animals. Make sure you're cutting them out really carefully, and then you're going to arrange the animals into groups of five. So each field needs five animals. Once you have done that, make sure you're counting them really carefully because. There are lots of animals and you might get a little bit confused, so take your time and don't rush it. And then you can send a picture of your completed work so we can see it. As a challenge, maybe you can have a go at writing the number next to the group by counting in fives. So you say one, two, three, four, five, and then you carry on counting. Don't start from one again. 
I can't wait to see your work reception. Bye.